Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto 3. And in the last episode, we definitely almost got killed by the cops on a couple separate occasions, but we made it out alive with some diminished health, but no big deal. And then we just uh, flipped off another black guy wearing headphones while driving, and we made a very, very dirty escape. I know how that guy feels, though. I definitely, I have to wear my, you know, little earbud headphones when I'm driving because I don't have a stereo system because we got stolen like 10 months ago and I just never decided to fork out the money to uh, go deal with that. And I think that, oh yeah, we unlocked the payphone missions last time and uh, we got some more of those to do. God, that guy got totally destroyed and then I killed this hooker and stole her money so that was that was all perfectly okay in my, in my eyes. Let's do one of these. If it's the one that I think it is, it's going to be fucking hilarious. I don't think this is the one though. Which one is this? Why all your shit in the trunk? A throbbing weapon? What the fuck is a throbbing weapon? <laughs> I don't think anybody is going to fear you with a name like El Burro. It's a, it's a fucking donkey, man, for God's sakes. Oh well, so we gotta go pick up this quote-unquote throbbing weapon, whatever whatever in uh, Gorilla's unshaven back hair arachnophobia could be all about. Let's go figure this out. So, I need to tell you guys about a, a, the last couple dreams I've had in the last two nights, because they were fucking wild. <laughs> and I, both of these were spurred because of me eating before going to sleep late at night. And that is just a terrible, terrible combination waiting to happen. So I gotta tell you about them. Okay, man, this car has the worst handling ever. Just nothing good comes out of that, ever. Let's go back. Actually, I want to see what's up the stairwell first. So, the first one was a couple nights ago. Uh, I had a, a couple of peanut butter uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And, uh, is there anything up here at all? Was, was there any reason for me coming up here? Is there like a hidden package up here, maybe, or what? No. So yeah, a couple PB and J sandwiches with some chips and salsa, which that's probably what that's probably what did it. I would be willing to imagine. There better be a hidden package up here. I'm gonna be, be kind of pit. Yeah, there we go. All right. There, by the way, throwing a disclaimer out there, I am not finding all hundred of these. There's just no way in hell. I mean, we'll see how many I can get in like a in like an organic setting where you know I'm not using like a walkthrough service to do it for me. What the fuck is that? Is that a... Oh, it's a flamethrower! Hell yes! I totally remember this this mission now. Strangely enough, like, half the people on the street disappear, and then everybody just turns into triads. Alright, we're gonna kill you. I'll deal with, you know, stealing their money and everything else in, uh, in, in due time here. I'm just gonna try to, you know, deal with these people accordingly, wait for the bodies to stop, you know, charring and... How are those guys not burning to death? Okay, this guy... It's a really good way to get yourself some ammo and, like, some free money, too. It's a its a great way to do that. And you should be able to do this without, you know, too much trouble. This is definitely not a very difficult mission. That guy just got himself run over. So, um, pretty much what happened in the dream is... Me and this guy that I've never met in my entire life before, we uh, decided that we were going to uh, take some anabolic steroids before our volleyball tournament, um, for some reason, because, you know, we need that and everything. So, we did that. We go up to, like, his weird, like, you know, beachside loft apartment sort of thing, and, uh, you know, we, we start to, we, uh, you know, get all the whole apparatus thing out to start taking our steroids with, and, uh... Apparently, it, it wasn't just like a, like the type that you just inject into your body or whatever. It was like this weird like mask that you had to put on that had like these weird vapors that came out that you inhaled instead. And it had like these two needles that came out and, and like would simultaneously inject the steroids into your uh, into your bone marrow. Which I don't, oh no no don't kill me don't kill me. Okay, jeez, way too close for comfort here. It's a good thing there's no cops involved in this either, otherwise this would really be bad. Um, so, you know, we get all set up and the, the guy's telling me, because apparently he's done this before. I didn't realize that he had done this before. Um, but he's like, so you need to do it and um, about three minutes in, you'll feel your muscles getting like really, like really sore. Like they'll start to physically hurt. And then you'll know that you've had enough. 
there. I need to get some more guys, like, right now. I'm running out of time. Ah! I've had enough of your sauce. You're going to die. I need one more guy, and he's going to be the one right here. Holy fisha. There we go. So, yeah, we're doing that, and uh, he's like, so when your muscles start hurting, then you can take it off, and then you'll be done. Because, you know, you'll have had your fill. Damn, I got a lot of money. Give me all that cash. Holy shit. I need to get out of here, like, right now. No, no, put it away! Put- Oh my god! <laughs> I just killed myself like that, really? I just burnt myself to death. That's- that's great. With my own weapon, nonetheless. Thank you for telling me, I understand. Wow, I am a total, total moron. Okay, well back- you know, back to that whole- you know, that whole scenario. So... You know, I get all set up and I start doing it. He's like, the average person can only do it for about three minutes before they can't take it anymore. So he's like, just so, just letting you know. And I was like, all right, well, that's fine. Um, you know, so I start doing it. And literally, while I'm sleeping, I, I, could, I could swear to God that I could feel my muscles in my thighs, like, start to hurt really, really bad. I'm talking, like, throbbing pain. It was, it was pretty nasty. But then, like, randomly, I started getting, like, super energized. Like, I was... You know, starting to like pace around the room, and like I was starting to, you know, feel like super, like endowed with strength, like this ungodly amount of strength or whatever. And I got 187 bucks. Tight. Uh, let's go do another one of those phone missions, by the way. And so, you know, like 10 or 15 minutes goes by, and he's just like, "Dude, how the fuck are you like still on this thing? Like, I I only did it for like five minutes, and I couldn't even physically move anymore. So the fact that you're even able to do this at all is like nothing short of remarkable." Any more Secura cars you want cracked? Bring them to our garage. Oh, tight, so we can, in Portland Harbor. So you take a Secura car out there and they'll crack it open for some cash. Sweet. Big and veiny? Oh, this is the one! Publication hot of the press, but that spanked up idiot has left the rear doors open. And now my beautifully produced, tastefully photographed adult literature is being dropped all over Liberty. Take the van and follow that trail of Donkey Dust Dallas volumes 1, 2, and 3, collecting it as you go. When you follow this trail to that thieving spank head, waste him. Then deliver my Donkey Derby to Triple X Max in the red light district. Well, alright. So I gotta go pick up all your porn off the streets. And then I gotta go kill the guy that did it. And then all sorts, of, and then I gotta go drop the real shipment off again. That's that's great. I'm a regular, a regular, a regular porn guy here. So yeah, so that whole shit happens. Oh, here we go. Those are some big ass stacks too. So anyway, um, after we get done with that, we uh, we hear the cops coming upstairs, and so you know we were, we're like, oh shit. So we uh, we take the whole apparatus and everything, and we hide it away. Uh, in this, like, you know, breakaway panel on the floor. And then they come, you know, busting in, uh, looking for... They're, like, uh, you know, asking us if we had done any doping. And, uh, if we, you know, if we knew anybody that did, we're like, no. They're like, okay, well, we need to conduct a field experiment right here, uh, just to make sure you guys are telling the truth. And so they, they put, like, this, uh, they put us in, like, this, like, this, uh, little, like, this little glass harness thing over your head, and they say... Now you need to blow into this. It's kind of like a breathalyzer. They say blow into this, and if any if any visible uh, visible trails of smoke come out of your mouth into this glass tube, then we'll know that you've been doping and that you were cheating, and then we're gonna have to arrest you. Dude, my van is just bouncing the fuck everywhere right now. It's like all cartoony and shit. Oh no, I missed one. Oh god, turn around. This is not the type of mission where you can afford to have things go wrong. You gotta definitely on strict time here. So, um, so, you know, he ends up blowing into it, and he's just fine, because apparently if you do it the proper way and only do it for a few minutes, then everything's all hunky-dory, and nothing goes wrong with it. But because of the fact that I had been on it for so long with my superhuman awesomeness and strength and shit, I blew this long-ass trail of smoke right into, the, into their little, you know, breathalyzer machine thing. And so, you know, it's like, all right, well, you definitely failed this test horribly, and now we're gonna have to take you to jail. So he takes out these weird ass handcuffs that are made of like solar energy, and you know, put them on. And he, you know, puts me in the car in the in the cop car, and it turns into a spaceship, and it takes me up to jail uh, on the moon, 
and my two uh, my two cellmates were um, fucking Kurt Cobain and Billy Mays, the OxyClean guy. And so I'm sitting here like, wait a minute, both of you guys are fucking dead. And they're like, no, we're not. I was like, yeah, you are. I, fucking with you, Kurt. I, I watched you. You were dead when I was a little kid. And Billy Mays, you just died like a few years ago um, from overdosing on it was either coke or heroin or something. And he's like, they're like, no, that wasn't us. I was like, well, wait, I, I don't understand. They're like, those were clones. We, we've been in we've been in this prison since 1984. And I was just like, what? Oh yeah, that guy's totally dead. That would be the shittiest way to die. I mean, that would be one of the absolute worst ways to die, just standing there outside of your van and just getting totally butt rammed right in the face with some other dude in a van that you didn't even see coming. So you're just like, oh, hey, look at me. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> That's pretty much how that went. So now we got to go drop off the old porn shipment to XXX Mags. So that was that one. That was that dream. So pretty much I took steroids for a volleyball tournament. It went totally ass backwards. Got arrested. Sent up to jail on the moon with Kurt Cobain and Billy Mays. So that was that. My other one that I had last night was fucking weird, too. I don't really remember it quite as well, but it had something to do with, uh, with, um, like a, it was, I wouldn't say like a zombie invasion necessarily, but they were kind of like subhumans, to, in a sense. Like, they weren't, like, all human, but they were kind of sort of like zombies because you couldn't fucking kill them. And, uh, so one of my friends ended up being one of these types of people, and, you know, he was coming at me, so I had to essentially you know, try to defend myself against him by taking, like, this weird, like, pocket knife sort of thing, and I was, like, jabbing it into, like, his neck and, like, you know, pulling it out and stabbing it everywhere else. Who the fuck are these guys? Are these the fucking Blues Brothers or what? Oh, no, these guys got their damn porn mags. I see what's going on. They, they got exactly what they wanted. And I got 20k for that? Sweet! I will gladly take it. I mean, I have no... No objection to that. Looks like our uh, our work with uh, with Mr. El Burro is done. I think that their uh, his his missions will come back up, but I believe that they're repeatable quests. So it's like uh, the ones that we already did. Um, so yeah, we don't have to worry about doing those anymore. Uh, let's go see what. No, oh, get back in the damn car, Claude. Jesus, don't get out of your car in the middle of the road. You gotta follow some type of traffic law here. Let's go see what uh. Let's go see what Tony has for us. We haven't done any of his yet, I don't think. So yeah, anyways, um, he comes at me and I got like this weird little tiny pocket knife thing going on. And uh, I can't fucking kill him. Like, uh, the only way that you could do it is obviously if you like pop their head off, but I couldn't do that. And then all of a sudden, like, then there was this whole full-scale war with a whole bunch of people that I knew um, on my side and a bunch of people that I knew on the other side that had been, I guess, infected by this sort of thing? I, I don't even know. And then, for some reason, like, he stole my weapon, like, the, uh, my friend stole my weapon away from me. But then he gave me the keys to go back to their hideout, uh, to the enemy hideout, to go find another weapon. And then everything was totally fine. It was, and, like, I was gonna go pick up their boxes of aloe vera juice. I don't fucking know. It was, the whole thing was weird. Let's teach these would-be tough guys what it means to be a tough guy. Sorry, Ma. Yes, Ma. I want you to destroy their laundry vans and mangle any triad gimp that gets in your way. Eight Ball can supply you with what you're gonna need. Well, let's go see Eight Ball then. So yeah, pretty much the moral of the story is I should never, ever eat before going to sleep, ever again. I think that my controller's doing that weird thing again where it starts, like, holding the down button for no apparent reason. I have no idea why it does it. Um, I, I despise it when this happens because it's really fucking annoying. Uh, hopefully it won't really do anything adverse. Uh, yeah, obviously it's not doing anything while I'm driving. I just really hope it doesn't do anything while I'm not driving. Yeah, see, it just starts walking backwards like that. It's kind of cool and cinematic looking, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a big deal, so... As soon as we get done with this mission, provided that I actually complete it on the first try, that's going to be all the time we've got. We're getting right around the old the old time limit here. Oh, God. So, yeah, those were my dreams. Uh, I, apparently, chips and salsa needs to not be something that I have at night before, you know, I'm thinking about going to sleep ever. Because those were, ironically, both of the culprits 
that I was uh, that I had before I I had mac and cheese last night before I went to bed. So who knows what the hell went up with that? I know that um, when you eat before you sleep, your body releases strange chemicals that can cause you know weird vivid nightmares and, and stuff. Oh come on, come on! No, 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 no! Oh, I'm totally gonna get you now. No, 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 no! You guys get. Oh, this is a really, really bad idea. Okay, so much for that. Go, get them out of the car. Let me go. Okay, so I need to figure out a better way to do this. I'm gonna go around the corner, try to see if I can lose these guys temporarily. All the while, I pick up some more health while doing it. Oh, he's gone. That butt fucker. Okay. Well, we got that. At least maybe we can get in a in a safer area of town that we can go. You know obliterate these guys from the face of the earth while I kill people right in front of a cop car. How did that guy not see that? I mean, that was like right next to him. Okay. So I think that all we really need to do is just, you know, block him by parking our car in front of him. I think that's really enough. Oh, no. I think now he's been, now that he's been alerted, I think that he's gonna, yeah, he's going crazy right now. Shit. See, this is what I hate about when this type of thing happens. I don't have any weapons either, because uh, I lost all my guns in that tragic flamethrower accident. Dude, don't be a little bastard right now, alright? All I want is for you to cooperate with me. I can't throw this grenade at your car when it's still moving. Oh, come on. Right there, right there. Perfect. Perfect. No, don't throw it backwards, you fucking rube. No! God damn it. Okay, I guess we did run into a big problem here. Get out of the car, Claude! Get in this van here. I mean, it wasn't... It wasn't all bad. No, it was actually, it was definitely all bad. But really? That's how this is gonna go over? I'm coming for you. Don't think you can just drive around in circles like this and you're gonna get away. I just really want to get him, like, locked up into a corner somewhere. Or maybe just get a different vehicle that he can't, you know, finagle his way out of it. I need something that's a little more authoritative, like that fire truck right there. That'll, that'll show him. That'll really, you know, cook his Cornish game in. Get in there, Claude. Putting out, <laughs> putting out since 1872. Like sluts. Apparently this firehouse is full of whores. Okay. Now let's see you get your way out of this, you little, you little jizz bag. Oh no, you don't. Yeah, Ernest Borg Nine Taxis right here. Don't you dare run over me. No, god damn it. Couldn't get out of the way, and there he goes. Really, really, he's gonna. God, you gotta be kidding me right now. I know that I'm making this way harder than it has to be. But that's how I do my business. Oh, oh, sweet! I got him kind of like locked up in a. I don't think that this car actually knows what's going on right now. Okay, here we go. Is car on fire yet? Car on fire yet? Thank God. Okay, there's one. Oh no! Okay, he's just gonna trample me. Oh, so much for that. These other two should be a lot easier to deal with. Get me in the car. There we go. It's really, this mission is actually quite easy to do if you can just manage to not, like, alert the, the car that you're trying to kill them. This is like the perfect music to listen to when you're trying to, you know, totally obliterate people from the face of existence. Okay, let's see. If I can just stop this car right in front of him without actually, you know, really aggravating him, this should be good. Oh, where are you? Where'd he go? Oh, God, okay. Oh, shit, I could probably take them both out with one stone here, or not. Okay. Let's just uh, park right in front of him here. Perfect. See, he has no idea what's going on right now. And his car's on fire, now he's gonna die. 
Yeehaw! Oh shit, I need to get out of the way. Alright, one more. Ooh and moss, and then everything's all good. It's all gravy. Now I have cops out here. That's gonna make this a little more difficult. Muy difícil. Oh shit. Nope, wrong way. No, don't. God, I hate when he does that. Oh, I've hit this tree. I no longer can drive this vehicle. Where'd he go? Hey, there he is. Now, does he know that he's being he's being chased? I don't think that he does, obviously, because I haven't even attempted to do anything with him yet. Okay, this might work. I severely hope that it does. Yes, oh shit! Yeah, go! Go, baby, go! Yeah, he's dead, and I need to run the fuck away from these guys right now. Oh, this is perfect. I'm gonna run right into that thing and take it away. Sweet. Okay, so, now that we've got that out of the way, hey, we passed 100,000 100, 100, beeswangs here. So let's go, uh... God damn it. Get me into that safe... Oh, no, there's a cop car there. I need to get my ass into that safe house right now. Otherwise, I am going to die, and we can't have that. And I know there's a car back here, because... Oh, and there's health, too. Even better. Thank you. Oh... Thank you, thank you, thank you. And away we go. Well, that was nice. We got all sorts of stuff done today. It was a little bit longer of a video than I really wanted, but hey, you know what? I had stories to tell, and, you know, we got porn magazines distributed to to the people that wanted to, you know, whack it in public or, you know, anywhere else at their own discretion. And, you know, we, we killed some bitches, too, with a flamethrower, nonetheless. So that was that was good times. I scream, you scream, they all screamed, and then they're dead. So there we go. Alright guys, well this has been your host AMF1534, Claude, you can stop fucking walking now, for God's sakes. Okay. This has been your host AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching. When we come back next time, we have more missions to do with Tony and uh, fucking uh, Jack Aboscus down there. So you guys take care, and I will see you later. Bye.